Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is welcome back to Our Media TV. I'm your host of My Media TV, and today, welcome back to Late Night News. I hope your day was was good today. Today, we're going to talk briefly about Springfield, Ohio, just one more time. A lot of the people there, including uh, uh, all the residents, what uh, patient or not, are very much le uh, not particularly happy about Donald Trump's impending. Uh, visit there in fact the mayor has asked him not to show up um that being said uh despite having despite a lot of right-wing rags playing these same eight clips with the same eight to ten people saying the same thing over and over again uh which usually alludes to them not actually having uh the the the, the painting a narrative that's not necessarily true uh one of the things that a lot of Haitian immigrants have said that were present there is a lot of them escape targeted violence and and and, and uh, uh threats of violence from their home country and now they are dealing with it here uh and one of the uh residents uh Volbra Darzinoval said he was faced with an impossible choice, risk his life to stay in Haiti or and witness the birth of his child or flee the gang violence that had torn his country apart and place a target on his back. So it's 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 rough and I feel bad for the for these poor people. You know, it's one of those things, right? It's like for the last decade, the right wing has always had has had a narrative. They have had a they will make up a lie about something or another and chanced him to quote an old Bill Maher quote back when he, you know, was still worth a damn. They will get into a room and ch chant the same lie over and over again until everybody believes it, whether it's real or not. And then we will disprove it, but they don't care about proof or disproof. They just use it as a justification. It is a tale as old as time. So why do I bring all that up? This is just another example of that type of work. It is, it, before it was Haitian immigrants eating your cats, it was, it was DEI, and then before that it was woke. Before that it was BLM, you know. Fundamentally, at the end of the day, the right wing, uh, right wing ideology is an ideology based in feelings, not fact. Because if they were based in fact, the, nobody would be a conservative. And uh, I hope that this that the right wing's ire and desire to make everything that comes out of Trump's mouth at least look true to the thirty percent of people that will vote for him un unconditionally. Uh, I hope they uh, figure that out. In the meantime, uh, we'll keep reporting. Thank you so much for watching. Go to the end screen. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And... Given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have great day.